So right behind me is the ADS system. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the ship and find out what really makes it bring the heat. So this is where the ADS system is controlled. It's very cramped, small, almost like my living quarters in the barracks. Just kidding. But for real, this is very, very cramped. So the guy's in here, he's controlling the monitors, it's got it pinpointed all the way down to small little crosshairs, and it's really impressive. Probably the coolest thing about this little getup is the Atari-like joystick that they use to control the system. And I'm pretty sure I'd be qualified to operate this system because I'm pretty good at Call of Duty. So you've got the two monitors right here. You could probably play split screen. I don't know. We'll have to ask about that. I'm racing. Sir, I've seen this operated on one person, but how does it measure up against a crowd of people? You can use it in a crowd to move a crowd from one area to the other. That's the beauty of the system. You can actually sweep from left to right, start on one end, and you can get them in the direction that you want to go. So it's very useful to the commander moving people in a specific direction. So it's a very effective weapon that has a very broad range of, of things they can do. And at the same time, it's non-lethal. It's not going to kill Absolutely. you. So for the people that think, oh, I'm going to be roasted alive, as soon as you get out of the heat, your skin's fine, you feel normal, and That's correct. I, I really like that, that about the system. Yeah. Some people think that the Marine Corps is all about dropping bodies, but that's just not true. In fact, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General James Amos, is the Department of Defense's executive agent for non-lethal weapons. Non-lethal weapons are the future of keeping our service members safe. DOD's Active Denial Technology and future Solid State Active Denial Technology system will produce a focused beam of directed energy to provide our troops a non-lethal option to stop, deter, and turn back suspicious individuals with minimal risk of injury. Active Denial Technology is designed to protect the innocent, minimize fatalities, and limit collateral damage across the range of military operations. Active Denial Technology uses radio frequency millimeter waves at a frequency of 95 gigahertz. Traveling at the speed of light, the millimeter wave directed energy engages the subject, penetrating the skin to a depth of only about 1 64th of an inch. The beam produces an intolerable heating sensation, compelling the targeted individual to instinctively move. For the military, active denial technology can be used for both force application and force protection missions. Applications include crowd control, perimeter security, patrol and convoy protection, and other defensive and offensive operations from both fixed site or mobile platforms. While the Active Denial System Advanced Concept Technology Demonstration succeeded in demonstrating a large-scale version of Active Denial Technology, a smaller scale, more mobile version is being developed by the U.S. Army and the DOD's Non-Lethal Weapons Program, utilizing solid-state technology. This system will demonstrate and prove out the critical technologies for a follow-on tactical system which will be an adjunct system that can be installed on a range of tactical or support vehicles. It will have an azimuth drive for full 360 degree coverage, e-steering and azimuth for fine steering control and full e-steering and elevation. With an invisible beam, speed of light targeting and silent operation, it can be used in a wide range of operations such as enhanced combat mobility in dense urban areas where it quickly and safely moves civilians obstructing vehicle mobility. Or it can be used to safely deter unarmed but suspicious civilians observing U.S. forces. At entry control points, it provides an additional layer of response for dealing with potentially threatening targets and potential crowd violence. It can be quickly de-escalated by targeting the leader or, if necessary, by panning across the entire crowd while armed individuals mixed in a crowd can be engaged without risk to surrounding civilians. Since the beam can penetrate window glass, it can also be used for non-lethal engagement of suspicious vehicles potentially threatening U.S. forces. 
The SS-80 T will be a lightweight, non-kinetic, non-lethal anti-personnel system, providing an alternative to lethal force.